And on this session, uh, be warned, there's more uh, stuff that gets thrown at you. So we're now on the second last session of the whole course, of uh, the theory part. Now, uh, from the end of the previous session, we had uh, L'Amour, um, L-A-R-M-O-R, L'Amour's formula uh, in classical electrodynamics that gives you the power of the radiation being emitted in all directions, uh, so the energy per unit time being, being emitted. Okay. Now if you average it, uh, that power uh, emitted uh, over a cycle, given uh, your R is R0, so it's an oscillator, um, cos omega t, so if you os uh, average that power um, with the R double dot, you know, the acceleration, so your vector R differentiated twice with respect to time, R dot dot, and average it over one cycle, you'll end up you'll end up getting this. Okay, uh, you could probably you probably do that for homework. That's that shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, so it's not it's not everything that gets thrown at you, but uh, like next, uh, well, this session most of next, uh, we'll, we'll be into uh, statistical mechanics to some extent. So either uh, you just take it um, on trust if you've not studied statistical mechanics before, or if you have, uh, well, then you'll follow what, what, what I'll be saying more readily. Okay, so uh, so now you've got a, a power formula for uh, classical mechanics of uh, the energy emitted per unit time averaged over a single cycle for uh, an oscillator, just a charge doing this. Okay? It's, it, it's this. Now, use that now as a, a motivator to for the quantum mechanical case. And you may ask, uh, where does it come from? <laughs> well, again, it's sort of thrown at you, right? So, uh, replace, replace this by this quantum mechanical term. Uh, now, you may ask, well, where'd they come from? Well, it's sort of plausible, right? Uh, <coughs> you yeah, R squared, squared, I mean, where, where's this 2 come from? Uh, well, it's sort of thrown at you. Uh, the cosine term, uh, you can express in, if you know some, uh, well, you probably do know, some complex number theory, you know that cosine can be written as the sum of two exponential terms, e to the i something or other, and uh, so the fact uh, that this cosine can be written as a as an e to the plus i omega t and term and a e to the minus i omega t term, and you'll get, well, stated in the text, uh, the two results from this this fact. Uh, not, well, I don't know if that's obvious to you or not. Um, anyway, so you get, you get this two uh, here. Okay. Now to now we've got the, the power. Um, so we take this, replace it by this. So uh, this here gets replaced by this, and and now we have uh, a quantum mechanical expression for the power of that radiator. Now, um, if, we, if we divide by the typical energy of the photon coming out, which would be this, okay, of, of this frequency, mk, then can you see that um, that then gives uh, a transition rate? Does that seem See, uh, we're talking about power, that's, that's uh, energy emitted per second, per second. Now a rate is a probability of a transition per second, okay? So if we divide by the energy of the photon coming out, what, what we're left with should be the rate, you know, the transition rate. Uh, I, hope, I, hope, I hope that's fairly intuitive too, okay? So, uh, okay, so plug, plug this in here, divide by the energy of the photon, and that will give you a rate of transition. 
Now, what kind of transition are we talking about now? We're talking spontaneous uh, emission of a photon. Emission? Emission? We're talking emission. Yes, yes. Spontaneous emission of radiation. That, that, that was the topic introduced uh, in the previous session. Okay? So, so now the rate and the S here for spontaneous emission. So it'll be this times this. Now that's just a constant, so uh, square root 4. So you have a 4 up here. Uh, so this 12 will become 3. Okay, um, and you're dividing by the photon. So uh, your uh, energy, so the h bar omega this, but you've already uh, You've already got it up here to the fourth, so if I go to the third, okay, and uh, well, that's just square, so that's still there, okay. So now you've got yourself a formula for the rate of spontaneous uh, emission of a photon. Okay, there it is. That's that's the quantum, quantum mechanical form formula for the rate, you know, the W, the rate, of spontaneous emission of a uh, photon. Okay. Uh, now again, uh, some statements given to you, just thrown at you um, in the text. Uh, and one is, you know, the question arises, I guess, you know, why, well, why didn't this formula uh, arise earlier you know, from from what we did in earlier sessions, and they claim, well, that's because you know, the because sign. Um, the electromagnetic wave was treated classically. Uh, now, <laughs> to me, it's not at all clear why. You know, you, uh, it's not a case of da. Okay. So, uh, and another statement, and there's quite a few of these statements just sort of thrown at you. Uh, just, you know, given towards the end of the course and they're just pointing at uh, various things to come so you know, just just accept it right okay now if the field's quantized so talking quantized fields using quantum mechanics applied to fields that's uh, QFT quantum field theory quantum electrodynamics uh, quantum chromodynamics uh, your know, quantum field theory is basic to graduate level quantum mechanics but it's graduate level right so yeah we, we can't deal with it at, uh, at this stage in, in an undergrad course. But they're alluding to it increasingly um, at, you know, because you know, this is the end of an gra uh, undergrad level course, so you'd expect it to be reaching you know, the boundary, the fuzzy region between uh, undergrad level and grad level, right? So anyways, so they're saying that so if the field is quantized, then uh, you can describe spontaneous emission, you can get this kind of thing, uh, you know, without, without using classical electrodynamics.